Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be getting started with React and Redux. Um, let's see. This series of challenge introduces how to use Redux with React. First, here's a review of some of the key principles for each technology. React is a view library that you provide with data. Then it renders the view in an efficient, predictable way. So it you give React data and React just displays it. Think about it like... Um, it's a it's it's like building the dashboard on, on a car um it doesn't you're not actually manipulating you know air and electricity you're just pushing buttons so react is a view it's a front end thing like that redux is a state management framework that you can use to simplify the management of your application state so that just means that react uh, redux handles the things that go on behind uh, the the front dashboard which react is so typically in a react redux app you create a single redux store that manages the state of your entire app your react components subscribe to only the pieces of data in the store that are relevant to their role then you dispatch actions directly from react components which then triggers store updates so React component subscribes to only pieces of the data in the store relevant to their role. So the React, React the front end is only paying attention to the things that are directly involved with what's happening behind in the Redux store. But the React dispatches actions directly that trigger the updates to the back end. So React um, makes adjustments to the back end, the back end records those, and the back end can hear a lot of different data from different uh, React components. Although React components can manage their own state locally, when you have a com complex app, it's generally better to keep the app state in a single location with Redux. So Redux handles the, the state of the application um, in, uh, in a single place. There are exceptions when individual components may have local state specific only to them. Finally, because Redux is not designed to work with React out of the box, you need to use React Redux package. It provides a way for you to pass Redux state and dispatch to your React components as props. Over the next few ch challenges, first you'll create a simple React component, which allows you to input text with input new text messages. These are added to an array that's displayed in the view. This should be a nice review of what you learned in the React lessons. Next, you create a Redux store and actions that manage the state of the messages array. Finally, use React Redux to connect the Redux store with your component, thereby extracting the local state into the Redux store. So we want to start with this display message component. This is a React component. I'm going to stretch it out here so it's a little easier to see. Uh, display messages, it extends, it's a React component called display messages, and this is the whole component. Uh, we want to add a constructor to this component and initialize it with a state that has two properties. Okay, so we want to Oh, that has two properties. Input, that's set to an empty string, and messages, that's set to an empty array. Okay, so this is just, we're doing the same thing that we did in the React tutorials. Um, so we're, we're setting it up so that the display messages has a constructor function. And inside of here, we're passing in props. Uh, that means whatever's being passed in to the um, display messages. It, when you write the display messages in a, when you, um, put the compo component in there, you can add the props, which you can add in here. And so that's what these ones, the props are going to accept that. And uh, th so we want to go super props. So we pass, we make the props available uh, further down. And then we have this dot state is equal to an object where the input is, uh, is that they just got key value pairs of input, which is an empty string. And then the messages, which is another uh, part of the input, and that's a empty array. And uh, that's how we write the pr constructor. So we want to be able to, this is basically just memorization, um, you know. Uh, yeah, this is the way that React works. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.